right, and this is the standalone laser hair. So that one is on the Optimus that does all the other skin things. You get that with the Optimus. It's very important for retention. So it's nice to get it on the Optimus rather than standalone, because if you get a standalone, you better have enough volume to support it. So you may ask yourself, well, why would I get this standalone? This is standalone. I have one now. Well, here's the two reasons why I would do it. If I have a high volume of hair. So if you have a hair clinic that has a high volume, you want a standalone. The reason why is if it's on your Optimus, which also does all the other things, and you have a high volume of hair, that thing, your Optimus, will be tied up all the time doing hair, and you're never going to have access to all the other things on the device. So if you have a high volume of hair, it makes, to have, it makes sense to have a standalone laser hair, or friends, or if you have darker skin types. If you, if you have a large ethnic population, depending on what part of the country you're from, or what your patient draw is, if you have types 4s, 5s, and 6s, this standalone laser hair is specifically tuned to treat darker skin types. So back to your question of uh, treating people with melanin. You can, C-A-N, you absolutely can treat darker skin types with a diode laser, but you have to go slow. The diode is very precise at searching out melanin and finding it. So that means if you're darker like me, you got to back down the settings because it will not only burn my hair shaft up, but it'll burn me up. So you can treat darker skin types with your diode. You just low and slow, low and slow with your diode. Or if you have a large population of types 4s, 5s, and 6s, then I'm thinking about getting this because I have a light and a dark handpiece specifically tuned for both problem areas of hair removal. 